This is a screencast about light-emitting diodes, or LEDs. An LED has two pins, the anode and the cathode. And cur when current flows from the anode to the cathode, the LED will light up. In order to not blow up the LED, you need a resistor to limit the current. The resistor can go either before or after the LED. So here we show the LED first, the resistor following. Here we show the resistor first and the LED following. Here we this up here. Down here. If the LED is reversed so that the current flows from the cathode to the anode, it won't light up, and in fact the current won't flow. So here we see it turned the other way around and it's shown as white instead of red because it won't light up. Again, it doesn't matter whether the resistor and LED are in one order or the other. Here we'll take a look at some real LEDs. Here we see four LEDs, red, orange, green, and yellow. Note that for each of the LEDs, we can identify the anode and the cathode. We see the long pin on the right here, a long pin on the right here, a long pin on the right here, and a long pin on the right here. So we can find the anode for each of the LEDs. On an actual breadboard, it looks like this. Now, this bus along the bottom would usually be ground. This bus along the top would be power. And so we have a resistor from power up to this row. The LED is plugged into this row and into this row across the trough. So the LED goes in series with the resistor to ground. The signal would connect in this row with the anode of the LED. So here we have the yellow wire, which represents our signal. So when it is put to power, the LED lights up. If this signal went to ground, the LED would not light up. As I said before, you can reverse them. So now we've just put resistor where the LED used to be across the trough, the LED where the resistor used to be going from this row to ground, and again, with the signal high, the LED lights up. Now here's something that looks very similar, but the LED isn't lit up. Take a look at where the resistor goes. The problem is, the resistor goes across the trough, so both pins of the LED are in the same row. It's easier to see this from the side. Here we see the two pins to the LED are in this same row. So what this means is the current won't actually flow through the LED any time. The current will always flow directly from here. We can use an LED for active low signals, like this. Now our signal, which is indicated by this green wire, goes to ground in order to light up the LED. Because we have the LED going from power to this row, the resistor goes from this row to this row, and then the bottom of the resistor is connected by our signal to ground. So grounding it lights up the LED. Again, we can reverse the position of the LED and the resistor and it still works. So now our resistor goes from power to this row, our LED jumps across the trough, and now from the cathode of the LED we have our signal which when it goes to ground lights up the LED.